Hello and welcome to Paper Plays Julie K. Welcome everyone to the December installment of the 2021 Craft Vault Collab hosted by Poet Spice. This collab is all about creating projects with older items in our craft stash or craft vault. There are a number of talented collaborators who are participating in this collab who will be creating projects with all sorts of craft supplies from their craft vault. I do have links listed below in the description box to their channels, so make sure you open up my description box to find the links to their channels. This is a year-long collab and our videos are posted on the third Friday of each month, so get ready to be inspired to use up items in your craft stash. And so for the final installment of the year, I decided to grab some paper from my hoard pile. Um, I for whatever reason, hoard graphic 45 paper, and I don't know why that is. Um, probably because it is beautiful, and I but I do have a hard time, especially cutting the first cut into any of the paper collection. But usually, I find once I've cut into it a little bit, I do just fine creating some projects. And so, for this um, last project for this month, I did decide to use, again, um, Graphic 45, and it was the Cafe Parisian paper collection. I did buy most of this paper at Tuesday morning, and um, they, I did use kind of the coordinating paper pad, so I used a sheet or two from here to create my project. I also used a sheet or two from the original um, Paper Cafe Parisian pad. I also use a journal card or two from the coordinating journal cards. And then also at Tuesday morning, sometimes you can go buy like packs and it's like 20 or 25 sheets of the same thing. And so I did use some of the sheets from here that I had purchased. I also use some other laces and trims from my stash. I also use some leftover pieces that were kind of leftover from a design team project from quite a while ago from Craft Supplies for You when I was on Julie's design team and the laces and trims that I had left over matched my projects very nicely. They were kind of a peach, that kind of peachy pink color and same with the flowers. Um, so I did go ahead and use those on these notebooks and again they're altered composition notebooks and so I will share the first one that I created with you guys. Um, you can see I have, I started off with a trim that now is kind of buried right here that I wrapped around the covers and then I also layered um, paper on the back and front. It's this paper that I used. And then in this one I did layer one more piece of paper and then I kind of have a light peach colored trim. And this one I did put the rosette trim on the spine. And then on the front I had this really pretty trim right here. It had the flowers in the middle and I went ahead and added flat back pearls. I also added some trims to the sides. And I know this one right down here with the pearls on it, that one came from, I believe, Hobby Lobby. And then this one on the side I bought a long time ago from a D-stash from Charlisa's Crafty Corner. And that one I also went ahead and added some flat back pearls to the middle of the flowers there. And then otherwise I layered some of the journal cards. I have some more of the Graphic 45 paper in the background. And... Um, then I created a couple of flower clusters on this one just to kind of finish it off. And I believe the majority of those flowers did come from craft supplies for you. There were some fabric flowers and some parchment flowers and some paper mulberry flowers. So that was the first one that I created. And then also on the inside covers, I do like to cover my inside covers. And so sometimes I add pockets, sometimes I don't. And this month I didn't have time to add pockets. It's been kind of a bad month for our family. We had another death in our family. So um, I'm not getting to as many craft projects as I had hoped for this month. Um, and then again, um, here's the second one that I created. And this one I am, I do have a piece of that rosette trim cut to add to the side. But I did not get to that before I started filming and I wanted to get this... Um, video recorded before I ran out of time and forgot about it just so I could get it downloaded um, and scheduled. And so then again on this one I added some more of this pretty flower trim, added flat back pearls to it. Um, this one I also added three flat back pearls on the side. This one I just had the two flower clusters, some more layered journal cards. I did add the flat back pearls again to the trim on the side of this one. You know, slightly different layout than the first notebook, but um, similar supplies. 
And again, on the inside of this one, I also covered the paper with some paper on the inside of and back sides of this cover. And the back side looks very similar to the last one, again, just with the two layers of paper and um, the light peach colored fleece and then the trims along the edges on this one. And again, I will be adding that other rosette trim. I have it cut, I just didn't glue it, so. Um, but those are my two projects for this month, and I believe this is the last installment um, for the year for the Craft Vault collab. I had a ton of fun creating different projects this month using supplies from my stash, and I usually tried pretty hard to grab stuff that I hadn't used for, for quite a while or things I had never even used for it. Um, again, thank you so much to Poet Spice for, for hosting this collab. I really enjoyed it. And again, if you open up that description box below, I do have links for everyone else's channel and I know that they would love to have you check out their projects for the month. And until next time, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and happy crafting.